we have Pascal's triangle on the board here. Pascal's triangle is very interesting and unique. The zero row is just a one. The one row is a one and a one. The two row is a one, two, and a one. And the three row is a one, three, three, one. So you can see that the outer rows are always going to be one. Okay? And any number is going to be the sum of the two numbers above it to the right and to the left. So the four row, first one's going to be a one, and then we're going to have a four, six, four, and one. And the five row would be one, five, ten, ten, five, one. So like, what good is it? That's the question. Well, it kind of goes along with this. The zero row is basically the coefficients of a plus b, or a binomial, which is why this goes along with the binomial theorem. a plus b to the zero, and that would be one. Anything to the zero power is one. The one row, or the coefficients of a plus b to the one, I would have one a plus one b, which are those numbers. The two row, one, two, one, are the coefficients of a plus b squared. I would have one a squared plus two ab plus one b squared. I got one, two, one. The three row, coefficients of a plus b to the cubed. I would have one a to the third plus three a to the second b plus three a to the first b to the second plus one b to the third. One, three, three, one. Now also notice, this is the exponent of my first one in the binomial. It goes down, three, two, one, zero. And then the b goes from 0 to an exponent of 1, exponent of 2, exponent of 3. All right? So the fourth row would, of course, be the coefficients of a plus b to the fourth. And the fifth row is the coefficients of a plus b to the fifth. So again, what good is it? Well, we're going to do a problem here. We're going to have a five problem multiple choice test where we're going to have answers a, b, c, and d. I want the probability of exactly three right by guessing. So the probability that I get one right is going to be 2.25, which is one out of four. And the probability that I get one wrong is going to be 0.75, or three out of four. Now by the binomial theorem, this is going to be the combination of five problems taken three at a time because I want exactly three right. Times the probability that I get one right, which is 0.25 to the third power because I want three of them right, times the probability that I get one wrong, which is 0.75 to the second power. Because if I have five problems, I'm going to get three right, then the other two are going to be wrong. And if we do that probability, we basically will get a combination of five, three, five things taken ten at a time. Three at a time is ten. A combination of five things taken three at a time is ten. Times 0.25 cubed, times 0.75 cubed, and I'm going to get 0 0.088 for that probability. So how does that re relate to Pascal's triangle? Combination of five things taken three at a time is 10, which if I'm on the fifth row is the one, two, third number. Just like the combination of five things taken four at a time. I'm sorry, I did that wrong. It's zero, one, two, three, it's not the third number, it's the fourth number. Combination of five things taken four at a time is going to be zero, one, two, three, four. And the 
combination of five things taken five at a time is going to be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this number can always be given to us from the Pascal's triangle. Do we want to use that every time? Probably not. It's just a very interesting relationship. And maybe it'll help.